Hi, and welcome back to another Flash of Android to Cricut Wireless. Today we have a Motorola Droid Razor, Razor Max. Um, well, let's just jump right in. First thing you're going to need is CDMA Workshop and your PRL, Preferred Roaming List, from Cricut. And you're going to need some Envy items that you can obtain from whiterabbit.org. Okay, and here we go. You're also going to need QPST, and that's build 355. Google these titles, and you'll, you'll get going where you need to be. And the CDMA workshop is 2.7, by the way. Alrighty. Well, first things first. We have to put our Droid Razor into bootloader mode because there is no no USB mode after you pass Gingerbread and all that. So you go down here to the bottom of the list. It's BP Tools. You push up. See, also custom boot logo. I can make a tutorial about that as well so when your phone boots up it will now be in a programming state where you can actually program it keep in mind that you need to have your 4G Verizon 4G card removed while you're programming because if not well it might not go through. I've done it both ways and it works for me, but to be on the safe side, remove anything that can be removed, meaning your SD card as well. So, without further ado, we go into, first you need to see what port your device is on, but we're going to start with CDMA Workshop first. But in order to obtain your port, you would have to go into, the folder and go to QPST configuration okay now as you see there's no ports listed don't panic over here you see show serial this checkbox uncheck it and there you go now Usually, you would have to go through a whole nother process, hardware, serial, or whatever, whatnot. But now, for some reason, on the Joy Razor, you don't have to use it. So you bypass hardware virtual serial port. All right, now I found where my device is located. You disable it for the moment. And you could just minimize that. It doesn't hurt anything. Now, you go over to CDMA Workshop, wherever you have it located, and you open the bad boy up. Okay. First off, you go find where your port, where your phone is, and you connect. Okay down at the bottom successfully connected security in your securities tab if you can see that security you're gonna type in zero six times and then service program and send okay service program code is correct phone is unlocked now also with the droid razor you're going to need to make sure that your phone is set up properly meaning over here in the other folder you go to r dash u i m the box says configure Go to NV items only. 
and write. Okay, and it said it should say success, verification one success, and verification two successful. Okay, and you take a step back or two. <laughs> Actually, in your others tab, while you're here, might as well write your PRL and wherever that's located. Me, I save everything that I need in my CDMA workshop folder so it's just easy to get to because I'm like I said I'm always flashing and reflashing and breaking and flashing again okay successfully has been written to phone alrighty so now we go back to memory and you write your NV items this box says you must send your service program code to phone before write envy items. Say okay because you already done that. And you search where you have it put. Like I said again, CDMA workshop folder. Uh, that's where I put it. You find it and you go to open. Twelve envy items have been written to phone successfully. All right. Didn't seem that hard, right? That's just the first step. Mode, you go to your main folder tab and you go to mode and reset. For some reason, it doesn't reset. So I do it manually or don't do it at all, but preferably just reset your phone. And so we're back to the razor.